Okay, we back to another video tutorial and this time we're going to learn about gradients. I'm going to draw a letter. My my first initial. I'm going to make it really big. Now I'm just going to change the font and get a cool font. <laughs> That's not the word letter M at all. Okay, I'm going to try that. So A few little tricks here. So the, here's my font. I'm going to add a stroke. I want to have the stroke behind the fill because it's just too thick. If I open up my appearance panel, we're going to see that the stroke here is above the fill. I want to change the order of that, but for some reason it doesn't let me. And that's because this is not vector. This is still a font. So we need to make it a shape. So outline the letter. Now that it's outlined, let's try again. So now if we try it again, there now we can put the stroke behind the fill, which is what I want. And now I'm just going to select the fill. So I'm going to show you guys a cool tool. I'm going to select the stroke and I'm going to go object path outline stroke. So now the stroke itself is not a stroke. It is a shape example. I still have the ability to change the width of the stroke that way. If I go object path outline stroke, I don't have that option anymore. It gets rid of the stroke. I could add a secondary stroke on what was a stroke before. So it made the stroke a shape and you're going to ask why would I do that? Well, there's lots of reasons why and here's a few. I'm going to want to bring the stroke again behind. Now we're going to add a gradient to the stroke that we just outlined, which is now really a shape. If I go to gradients, a whole bunch of different options. Let's try um, stone and brick. So with my stroke selected, I can click on it so I can click it and drag it onto the fill so that one doesn't offer too much of a gradient maybe maybe this one so that's a little nicer a little softer of a gradient so that's cool because this gradient is now a vector 